on here. When it comes to him peeing more, can I ask, have you guys done a black, like a urinary tract infection test to see if he has that? Because no, bladder infections and... Have his, yes, actually we did. We did. You did? That's part of his thing very recently. So okay. That all came back clear. That came back clear. Uh -huh. So then sometimes it's like something we don't want to talk about, you know, internally, like a... Like a problem like right. cancer or something I mean, like that. Too, so I know. Maybe he just can't hold it that long anymore. But I think he was. There, there's mixed mixed data. So sure. It's hard to sure. Make a conclusion, but right. It seemed like he was he was peeing early in the night, like right after he took him out. Like an he would come in and just pee again. Because, but you know, we locked him up in his little mudroom area. Okay. And then in the morning it would be dry on the floor. Okay. So. It had been there a while. Okay. Um, and I thought, well, maybe he's just anxious, or maybe he's just doing like the cat thing that pees in your suitcase when he's mad at you. You know. When did it start? Did it start well, after, it, say, one of the like vacations a, that y'all took? Months ago. Okay. I don't think so. And then it got better for like a week, and then it started doing it again. Um, That's yours. That's yours. It'll stay right there. This is the wrong one, Dee Dee. Okay, I got you here. Okay, mom's right there. She's not going nowhere. We don't need to do nails because they did that. Okay, okay. I don't know why, but they did. Okay. Also, I think there's a mat that I haven't been able to get behind okay. this right ear. We just need to shave off too. So we don't have to look at it okay, too all right. Let's do this. Sometimes it's something internally that we can't really see right. that's causing that. Sometimes it is old age, but rarely do I hear a client say, like, it went from this to this over, like, yeah. rarely. That, that's rare. So uh, bladder infection, is is that a different test than a urinary tract it's infection? The They're looking for bacteria in the urine. You would think yeah. so, but I would ask. Yeah. Because it could be just like when you have other tests for us. If you don't do the right test, you're not going to get the results. Yes. Right? Yeah. So I would say ask and make sure. Just say, hey, is a urinary tract infection test different than the bladder test? What would it hurt? Okay. They're going to say yes or no. And then I would, for me and my dogs at home, I would say I would be limiting the water at certain times of day or whatever. Yeah, you just you start doing that too? Kept being on the same spot every night. He sprayed it with vinegar all the time. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it worked one night, and then it quit working. And so you know, we tried a lot hmm. of different puddles. Oh, that over night. how over how long? A month? Over the uh, last month weeks. or weeks? We, yeah, several different things, and we tried putting puddle pads down. He would move the puddle pad out of that spot to pee on it. Then Same spot tape, then. Taped the puddle pad down, and he still moved it. And had tape on his face in the morning. So I don't know. It's hmm. emotional, probably. More Interesting. Physical. Really? I think so. But you can know what's going on in his little puppy head. There's not much going on in there. Are you able to get through that sticky area? No, I'm going to come around okay, it good. separate. It's, it's too, so mom is telling uh, me in the lobby that he has been tinkling a little bit weird and abnormally and they're trying a bunch of things to figure out what it is. So this area that he's had a boy pad on is matted underneath on the right here where the hip would be. So we're going to come back with that and just do a 10 blade there and take that down a tiny bit shorter. And he's also had a dental done. To, so they went ahead and took off some of these lumps while he was under. So that's why he's got the, those areas where, you know, down to the skin there because he had surgery. Do you know how much your uh, dental was with the removal of the stuff, of those lumps? Yes, I do. About how much was it? 900 and something. 900 and something? Mm -hmm. Woo! Yes. Did they have any extractions with that? They did not. Mm -mm. What they the heck? How much was the removals compared there, to the there, dental? There several things, and I can't remember what all. What the I heck? I, I have to look at the, at the thing, but you know, they have to get the man a fee, though. I just put them completely out for that. Yeah, but there's a dent. Okay, so if you want a different place, you have to go further out, yeah. Denton. And I can, th their dental and there was extractions was like two, th 250. Wow.
Yeah. You can always, if you, not that you have to, but you can always ask me yeah. who I would use. I know a lot of a lot of different veterinarians for different things. I think about six of that was dental. Six hundred? They may have included the blood work in there too. Oh, maybe. Because we had the, we had the, like a checkup right before that, where they did all kinds of things. Okay. But I can't remember what was on which bill. But it is a good chunk of pain. Yeah, that's a lot. Every time. Yep. And how old is he? Remind me. Eleven. Eleven. Doctor says he's in excellent health and probably have several years left still. Cool. That's great. Your blood work looks great. It's weird about the peeing thing then. All right. I'll go to stand up here. I'm gonna come in and see see what I got here. Don't move your hands. Yeah, there's definitely mats under there from that pad, you know. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. You gotta have something in there. He's had an accident a lot. Amen. <laughs> Me too. Get up, step in it. Have you have you stepped in it with your socks yes. <laughs> yet? Have you? At least we always knew Woo. where it was. You know, same place every morning. And he wouldn't, he doesn't like it on the puppy pad. I guess. Like you put the pad, he moves it, right? He never peed on the puppy pad. Whenever we put one out, like if we were going to be gone a little longer than we liked, we put one out for him and he never peed on it. I think he thinks it's a rug and he's not supposed to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does. Mm -hmm. that way. He doesn't see it on the pad. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting.
gave him a bath today or yesterday? Today, just a couple oh. hours ago. Oh, okay. I didn't want you to have to deal with the pee-pee. <laughs> There's pee on his hair in there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that pad didn't, should help. didn't deserve that. If you do the pad. <laughs> Really? Yeah, right? I'm going to wrap up the feet and kind of quickly start moving towards the face. Okay. And then we'll have about 10 minutes on the face. So they cut these off, mm -hmm. and then the scab, that's a scab over. It mm -hmm. looks like it's just going to be the same thing coming in, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. This, just, this it, one is really ugly. Yeah, it doesn't even, like, I don't know that, these I don't know. Teeny. what it, These were really teeny. I guess as, for me, as long as I'm not at his age going in just for that, you know what I mean? Since he had to get a dental, yeah. Right. But just for that, and it comes back the same, it's still it's a lot of surgeries. Exactly. To, no, I wouldn't. You agree? You agree? You know what I mean? Especially since there were two of them, of these big ones, and one of them just fell off. On its own? Yeah. Yeah, so weird. Okay, don't move your fingers. Okay. He's doing great so far. Hopefully on your head you'll do okay. Okay? You can always hope. I love the rain, but man, when it rains, the, the dogs, it's just hard, isn't it? Is it hard for you and your dog? Is he like uncooperative? You mean like going out? Going in and out and getting muddy and... Yeah. He doesn't like to go out in the no? rain at all. We'll just carry an umbrella over him. <laughs> or he'll keep like right up against the house. Right, right, try right. Stay dry under the eaves. Right under that. Yep, yep. <laughs> right over that overhang. He can't wait to get back in. Okay, let's jump, let me check with the comb real quick first. It's a couple things here. Mm. Mm, you said it. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing with this surgery is they gave me this ointment to put on it. Where? And it on those on spots? Things, but it would like ooze down and get sticky in other places. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I, yeah, I did just brush him, but I get it, I guess. It's 
last month has been tough to keep That's him okay. detangled with all of his mm. pee and goop and yep. surgeries. Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Oh, that's a sweet little sound. You're fine. Okay. Making funny sounds. And come down his back. Okay, let's just go ahead and get that muzzle on. Let's see here. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're looking at me like you want to bite me. looking at your mom. Hmm? Yeah, you're usually looking at your mom. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. Steady, steady, Betty. Steady, Betty there. I know you can take it off. I do know that you can take it off, okay? I also know you can bite me through that, yeah. You don't want to bite Miss Dee Dee, okay? Very good. Thank you for not trying to bite me right now. Good boy. Wait, wait, wait. Not going anywhere yet? No, sir. Not going anywhere just yet. Give me a second, okay? Hi. Steady, steady, Betty. Steady, Betty. Don't do that. Stay still. Bring that down. Steady, Betty. Got all this wild hair going on up here. Oh, What's going on with me. this? Huh? What happened with that? Keep him partying too hard, huh? <laughs> Wait, don't get upset. You're good. Don't You're get good. upset. I feel snags in there. Don't get upset with me, please. Uh, don't get upset. It's not worth it. Okay, we got to pick our battles, okay? <laughs> pick your battles now. Pick your battles. This is a simple battle, okay? You save those for mom and dad at home, all right? <laughs> Hey, 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 don't so pick it. Ah, ah, ah. So ra pa pa. So ra pa pa pa. A little snag in there. That's what the problem is. Don't get mad at me. I didn't put it there. I've been trying to work on that too. I didn't put the snag there, okay? I'm always the bearer of bad news, but I'll tell you this not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Go over there. Yeah, go ahead and take a look at that camera over there. Pay attention to the camera. Show them how pretty you are. Just show them your cute little puppy eyes. Y'all throw him some some little emojis to look at over there. <laughs> Is that muzzle off? The freaking muzzle's off, dude. <laughs> 
I was pulling on that muzzle. It was hanging down. <laughs> it was hanging down on his neck. You got away with that. You got away with that, huh? You guys didn't tell me his muzzle was off. I can't believe you didn't tell me his muzzle. You didn't tell me that. Okay. Let's get back here. Let's see what's up here. Not really. Okay. All right. Chop, 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 chop. He no, probably, okay, hold on. There you go. There we go. Let me click that back on there. Hmm? Okay, whoop, up, up. Over here, look at this. There we go. All right, look at that. Okay, great. Whew. See, I'm a ninja. All right, here we go. Can I get this back on there? Hmm? May I do this? Okay, hold on one more time. One more time. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Put your mouth. There we go. Put your mouth in there. Okay. Stay as you are. Let me see what we got working with here. Steady. I'm going to clip it, but it might only buy us a second or two here. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Let me see. Look up for me. Hey, pretty boy. Mom says she'd like to see your eyes, you know. I think everybody likes to see eyes, right? Pretty eyes. He's a pretty boy. Thank you for calming down a second. Let me get all this out of your eyeball area. Make sure to keep your ear meat out of the way. Okay, there we go. I'm not really sure if this is going to work, but at least I can see your eyes no matter what. Can I come in this way? That's a nice little boy there. Yes, it is. Everybody say that's a nice little boy. Thanks for letting me get my finger in there. That's new. That's a new thing. Okay, what happened? Just keep sniffing. I am. As soon as he stops, he's going to do the thrashing. Really? Oh, don't thrash. Just keep sniffing. Just keep sniffing. Just keep sniffing. Oh, oh, okay, snip. Just keep snipping, just keep snipping, okay. I might be taking more than I should, but hey, I'm just gonna do it. Just gonna do it. I don't know what it's gonna look like here. He's gonna. <laughs> I know he's gonna have some shaped stuff behind. Yeah, to, just keep now. snipping, just keep snipping. Okay, she said, just keep snipping. <laughs> Okay, let me see here. Okay, steady. I'm not done. I'm not done. We're still going at it. Okay. There you go. Let me get that out of your eye. Okay, I'm still snipping. Don't, don't, don't stop, Dee Dee. Right here, still snipping. <laughs> yeah, you just keep opening the scissors. Make that little sound. Over here, still snipping. Still snipping. This is new, isn't it? Still snipping. Still snipping. I think we're past our 30 at this point, so I'm just kind of, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Or right at it, or right at it. Still snipping, head up please. Head up, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad, that's your tongue we're talking about. Got a nice big net mat right there. Still snipping, still snipping. I'm still snipping, but I gotta check something. Still snipping. Where's that mat at that you said?
Okay, there is one back there okay. on the left. <laughs> and go the other direction here. You would turn around in a circle, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would look down right now, wouldn't you? Yep, okay. I know all the tricks. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys both towards me a little bit and I'm gonna kind of shovel his uh, ear out. Oh, okay. Let me see what's, where, where, where it's at. Ah, 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 ah. Oh! One little tangle makes you disappointed and upset. Okay, voila. Voila! How it's done. CD works the magic. Voila! Hop, 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 Nothing over there. That's good. Good. That's a lot of static. Let me see. Let me see. Let Ms. Dee Dee see that right there. Check everything over. What's this? Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> you think we're done? Oh, what do you? Is that okay? Yay, is that fine? That's fine. That that's fine. fine. Okay. Okay, oh, here we go. Woo, what the heck? That. What the heck? Here, okay, woo. This is yours. This is yours. Here you go. Here we go. Here you go. This is all yours. You ready for this? Here you go. Here you go. That's all yours. Okay, good to go. Good. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back, you guys. Oh, my goodness. What a goof. You goof? Are you goof? I have a couple things here that I need to open up <laughs> with y'all that I have been saving. Um, I need to clean this up before my next client also gets here. So don't let me forget, okay? I threw you guys right into the groom today because I ran a little bit on time, which I wasn't ahead of time. So I just threw you guys right into the grooming didn't even talk to you, hardly said anything to you because we had this aggressive Maltese that we are working with. But hey, we got it done. And 
I'm grooming the dog and thinking in my head what I want to tell you guys is some of these knots that pop up it's because we've got a bath that was involved you know so when you don't check for knots and tangles prior and you bathe this is a repeat of something I've said for 18 years now 20 years 18 years 20 years so don't bathe a matted dog and unfortunately it happened here but it wasn't so bad well, I say that because I took it all off with the Timbalade. So, Ninja. Oh, David and I used to always do that. Whoa. I can see his face right now like that. Whoa. I took all the sides off. So he's been wearing a boy diaper. And she said she bought a boy diaper. And I said, are you putting a, she said there's pee still coming out everywhere. There's pee all over his body. She didn't want me to have to deal with that, so she bathed them before they came in. And I said, are you not putting a pad in there? She goes, it comes with the pad insert. That pad that comes with a boy pad, a boy, uh, what do they call it? <sighs> There's a name, for, a wrap, a boy wrap. I sell boy wraps, girls wrap, diapers. I have tried every single diaper in my senior dog care. I know which ones work, don't work, slip off, don't stay on Velcro, Velcro off, all that crap. So if you want advice, definitely uh, check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. Type in diaper or wrap, and the ones that I sell, I love. Now, I have, every dog's different. So my doodle, my boy doodle, when he, when I make him wear a wrap, it's been a while, but when I make him wear a wrap, some of the wraps that I put, she must have forgot something. Some of the wraps that I put on him because his body is real narrow, it's hard. So you have to really try these on. Let's go see if it might, this is my next client maybe. Nope, it looks like the same client. Let's see. Did I leave my sunglasses in there? I think you did. Okay. I think they're right there on that dresser, maybe. Thank you. Right, I didn't see, see them. Thanks. Okay. Glasses. Code word glasses. She has left her coat here, her glasses, her shirt, <laughs> her uh, keys. Other, she's left a lot of stuff here on occasion. I'm glad she figures it out before she leaves, though. So don't bathe a matted dog. The wrap itself, I don't believe in the pads that come with that. It's like a barely, it barely, pour some water in that pad before you use it and not urine. So pour some water, it'll go everywhere. So put your own maxi pad in there. And maxi pads I have found, like with Sally, the blind, deaf chihuahua I rescued. She lived five years with me. She died at 21 years old. She had a long, awesome life. She had to wear a diaper. And so I tried every kind of pad, and the maxi pad is the best. <laughs> so get yourself some maxi pads for those diapers or wraps and put that inside, which is what I told her to do here. And that way you'll have no pee urine cleanup. It'll just be all sucked up by that pad okay and then you take the pad out throw that away and then start off with the new one but she you said you heard hopefully you heard her say herself he's been peeing randomly in a spot no matter what they do for the last few weeks nothing works to get him to stop so i don't really know what's going on there he is 11 but he also had surgery he had a dental cleaning no extractions but they did a bunch of he has these weird mole they're not moles they're spots where a nail grows out all over his body. I'm going to repeat that. He has spots all over his body where it looks like the nail, like your nail, it's that strong and that it growing out right out of the skin. And they get hard and long. There's one that looks like a nail. It's not. It's just his growth. He has them all over his body. So they removed a few, but seeing it come back in, it looks like it's just coming right back. So I don't want to say I recommend constant removals and surgery if you have an older dog. For me, when I've seen my older dogs go through lots and lots of surgeries, what I find is I feel like they lose a little bit of life. I don't know how much, maybe a few hours, a month, a few months. Like it, it, it's like you have a lifespan like this, and if you have a surgery, you take it off. You have another surgery, you take a little bit more off. You have surgery, surgery, you just start taking like days off of your life. That's my opinion. You don't have to listen to my opinion, but you can value it. Like, hmm, food for thought. Let me pay attention to all the dogs that I own in my lifetime and see if that does make sense to me too. And it might. 
Thank you so much, Senior Fly Girl. Woohoo! Much love to you too. As I um, get in here, so our next client is in 15 to 20 minutes unless she's early. Let me go into this and see you guys here right fast. It's so cold here in Texas now. This weekend got so cold. So let me say hello, uh, Grandma Shell. Hello, finally live. The, the, we're running into where you will start to see this is one of the only rooms outside of product that has changed, is not changed. So sooner or later, this room is going to, I'm going to start soon too. This room will start to move right on out of here. So, whoa, it's happening fast. Senior Fly Girl, hello. AAK, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Sally, hello. MP, hello. At B, hello. Gail, hello. Hi from another Texan to Didi, my favorite groomer. What's up, Gail? MP, hello. Cute hat, thank you. It's so cold. And then I haven't been running the heat here, so I had to start it. It was chilly when I got here. Sarah, hello. Megan, hello. What's up? Thanks for being a moderator, you guys. Senior Fly Girl, thanks so much. Thank you for being members if you're green named. TC Bear, hello. Aunt B, hello. Can you please tell Dee Dee that Megan McNeil was here also? Thank you. We can see y'all. No one needs to tell me that you're here. No offense. Aunt B, please and thank you. Hello. Grandma Shell, sorry I missed the chat, making homemade chicken soup. Ooh, can I get some of that? <laughs> it's a very, it's a good reason to miss it, a tasty reason. Oh, no, right? I know it. Yahtzee, hello. Adventures with Robin C. I'll be texting you today because I, but you've, you're the three XL for the, what, what breed do you have? The Great Dane that you have has not left my mind. Love your hat. Thank you. Is it cold? It is. It got super cold this weekend as it was rainy all weekend, foggy, reminding me of my mom. And we picked up my mom's remains yesterday and it just was just surreal that the weather was consistently, the weekend she died was super rainy and foggy. The week that she passed was super foggy. The next weekend was rainy. The next weekend after that was rainy and foggy. Like it's my mom saying she's here nearby. Ninja Didi. Senior Flagger, I swear these dogs understand the English language way more than we give them credit for. I agree. Belly bands, AAK, exactly. Glasses, I need glasses. Thank you again, Senior Flagger, for that donation. Keep it coming, woohoo! Thank you, Adventures with Robin C. Thanking her. I forget the name of that, she says. I think it has to do with a buildup of calcium or something. Sally, hello. Boy rap only use full diapers, no, no may like Yibira. Okay. All right. It's 23 years old, dog. Wow. What? Steady Betty. All right, you guys, that was all the comments. We're out of here. No, just kidding. All right, so we're going to. Melinda out of California sent me a small donation, which I will be giving her a $20 donation, which really is a donation for this product. I'm going to make her one of those metal leashes. She wants three, I think. So thank you for that. And I'll be sending your leashes today or tomorrow. I'm going to make them today, I believe. I also got a donation from Joanne. Joanne T, thank you so much for your card. It says here, if I didn't have my boyfriend Jeff backing me up. I couldn't help you the way I do. So thank you, my Wolfie. I love, um, thank you. My Wolfie, Wolf, eh, I think, I think it's supposed to be my Wolfie and I love it, ad love and adore you. Something like that. Love you always, forever, eternally. Joanne T. Joanne T is so cool. She's so awesome. She puts an order in every month to cook to uh, support my business. It's so awesome. Like she's so, so generous. Didi greetings, Didi greetings of the season and warm wishes, for, warm wishes for the year ahead. Merry Christmas belated. Happy 2024. May God richly bless you. Bless your loved ones. There's a girl. We need to talk about this handwriting thing. It looks like my handwriting. So this is what people be reading my stuff. I was, forgive me. I'm trying to keep up with it. 
Bless your loved ones. It has been a blessing knowing you through YouTube video and helping you to keep your business going. Woohoo! Keep smiling and dancing. So graceful. You're a beautiful young woman of love and kindness. Drill Sergeant with a funny sense of humor as you talk to your clients. Laugh out loud. Love you, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. I appreciate it. Your donations are really helping me get all these dogs. All the dogs are spay and neutered this week. This is the end. This week will be all the, except for one that went into heat. Hot pink went into heat. So she's on delayed spay. But the two girls, Blue and Pastel, got spayed last week. And on Valentine's Day, gray, spot, and light will be neutered. This is, I'm going to tell you right now, this has been a lot. This has been a lot on me. If you happen to have room to have a pet in your care to watch over them after their spay or neuter, will you call me and let me know? It just borrow my pet and give them the extra time and one-on-one -on -one undivided attention that they need. Let me know. I say that because it's really hard to have all five, six dogs spay or neutered at the same time because they all have to be kenneled, individually let out, no playtime, no jumping, no reason for them to open up their sutures. So if you have a place, please give me a call. I got another card from Martha Mitchell. It says, remembering with you, when the heart is grieving, God comes near to bring his comfort to catch every tear. I will be your God through all your lifetime. I made you and I will care for you. Isaiah 46, 4 TLB. To Dee Dee, but it's spelled like D-E-B-E, -E, but I know what you mean. May God hold you close, comfort you gently, and carry you through. Yeah, see right here. Hmm. In prayer and sympathy, your friend Martha. And then it says, sorry, comma, David. I almost want to say, did she write that for David? Interesting. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for your card. I appreciate it. This says Debbie or D. I'm not really sure now. I'm really confused after seeing that. <laughs> okay, hold on. Inside this, she sent me this, um, which I believe is a handmade cross. And little did she know that my mom has been visiting us as a dove. And there's a bird in that. I'm pretty sure she sent this to me up, uh, about David passing, but little did she know that right after I got this, my mom passed away. So thank you so much for this cross. I remember when I was in kindergarten, I think we made some of these. We made some of these in school or church. I can't remember now exactly where. Oh, there's one on top of another. Look, there's this one and then one on top of another. So thank you so much for my gift. And then she put a bird there. Isn't that something else? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. I'm getting a little confused as to where I'm putting all my stuff here. Let's take a look. Okay, so I read Joanne's card. That's good, good. Okay, we did that one. Joanne's card. And then, okay, Melinda sent donation. I don't think there was a note in there with that. I could be wrong, but... There's, I, I must have misplaced it if there was a note. And then I got a card from Michelle G. Which I believe you might be in the live chat right now. Dear Dee Dee, I am so sorry for your loss. My mother died when I was 37. I still miss her, but the pain has receded. I look forward to seeing her in a better world when Jesus returns to this earth to bring the kingdom of God and the resurrection. The best is yet to come. And I don't know if I should cry right now or wait till later, but it's right behind my eyeballs. You will see your loved ones again. Your fans are friends as well, and we love you. I think this means C1 or I, C1 Corinthians 15 for encouragement. Death will be swallowed up in victory. In your time of sorrow, may you find peace in his presence as he gives you strength for today and hope for tomorrow. 
with prayers and sympathy, sending hugs, Michelle G, Grandma Shell 23. Thank you for your card and your prayers and being a fan friend. <laughs> I love it. Michelle G, Grandma Shell also puts in orders on a regular basis supporting my business and I can't thank you enough. You can check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com if you haven't already and pick up the latest deals that we're having. I've been behind on doing some of these things that I was supposed to do for Christmas. I was behind for Christmas. And so we decided, I decided we were gonna have Christmas all year. And then as soon as January came through, it just felt like it was so fast and my mom passed. So we're already in February and then the year is already going by so quickly. So what I'm going to be doing as we start the move out, which is, I guess I'm mid, not middle of move out, but two weeks into moving out already with a helping hand, my friend Josh, which is a neighbor to my sister. That's the only reason I know him as a friend. He isn't somebody I've known for 20 years, not even 15 years, not five years, but someone fresh and new from the last two years we became friends just because he's a neighbor. Every time I would go see my family, he would be there over the wall talking to me. Hey, Dee Dee, such a great person. He came out all on his own. He just, a couple days before my mother's funeral, he said, Dee Dee, I'm coming out for the funeral. I was, he goes, do I need to get a place to stay? I said, no, not if you care that 15 dogs will be barking in your ear. And I'll tell you what, he showed up gosh he showed up to help me um, which is different than when David passed away so when David passed away I felt really alone outside of you guys being here and when David passed away I I really went home alone I lived alone I was with my animals and really they carried me there was no one around to talk to you on a daily basis outside of y'all and some friends over the phone. And I mean good friends, but no one physically there. So having company, I keep telling Josh, when you leave, I'm going to break. <laughs> Not like that, but I'm gonna really cry. It's just hard to even find that crying when someone's around because you have to stay busy, make sure everyone's getting food, you want, you're caring for someone else, you know what I mean? You're, you're busy caring for other people, and if you're doing that, you're too busy, to, I'm caring for dogs and other people. So when the human, you, when the human leaves, what I told Josh is like, I'll pro it'll probably hit me because that alone time will come full-fledged as normal, as, as it does, and then all of a sudden, you know, you've got this emptiness and that's going to hit hard. So even though you can't even wrap your mind around it, so trying to find homes for everybody, having the losses, there's a lot of goodbyes. And in, in those goodbyes, it's really hard. So Spot found a home, that was so sad for me. Little one found a home, that was even sadder. Tiger didn't find a home, but he found a program. I found a program that they're willing to work with me. He's at a location right now to hopefully th them help me get eyes on him, but me still try to get him adopted. So Tiger hasn't said goodbye to me, but I, I kind of wrapped that up just in case he got a home. He's not in my care right now. And then just understanding how all these goodbyes happening at once can really, even though there are positive goodbyes, right? When you rescue an animal and you rehome them, it's a positive goodbye, but it's just sad still. Goodbyes are sad. You never know when you'll see them again, and in some cases we don't, do we? We might never see someone again. All right, let me go make sure my door's unlocked. Here you go, there you go, here, here we go. I gotta, what the heck, Dee Dee? Let me get her inside and then wipe that off. Oh, he's just gonna come over. Come on in. 
Okay. You got cold walking her? That's why I'm wearing a hat. It's cold out there. that time your mom brought your remover cover which is what we need for show Here's your groom loop cover mm-hmm it was perfect timing wasn't it oh my mom has been visiting us though I got to tell you guys she's been visiting us every day and it's really an interesting thing because she's been visiting as a dove. <laughs> I've seen her as a yellow butterfly, I believe. Yellow. That's not why I want to spray that. That's not, I don't know what's happening there. That's better. She's been the rain and the fog. She's been, oh my gosh, man, the other night, gaming on Fortnite twice. She turned the whole map pink. Whoa, my mom's favorite color right now is pink. Some miraculous things that don't even make sense. My dad and mom had a pet. We had a family pet, but they had a pet named Thopai, which means big white dog. And I had to run home today before work and grab a key. And then as I did that, pulled up. My dad was taking out the trash. And uh, when I pulled up, you know your vehicles have like Bluetooth, right? My vehicle has never been plugged into his cell phone at all, ever. I've never let him connect his phone to my car, my truck. So when I pull, when he stepped outside his house and I was pulling up as I was passing by, I said, Dad, you know this song that you wrote about Thapai, right? He wrote a song and sung it and played it on the guitar when he was younger. This song... It was like on my phone. It was it was my dad singing on my radio. And I said, Dad, look at this, you know, and I pulled up, I said, Hey, look, you know, as soon as you come out your house and I was pulling up, this song started playing and I turned he goes, it did it. He leaned in my vehicle and I turned it on louder. And it was my dad singing this song he wrote. And I was like, Wow, you know, that's weird. Well, when I left and pulled up to a stop sign down the road, it disconnected from my dad's cell phone. My car did. And I pulled over and stopped for a second ago, and I checked my phone. My Bluetooth was off. And I was like, oh, mom. At first I knew it was my mom, but then I was like, oh, yeah, that, I, that doesn't make sense to me at all. It don't make no sense at all. And then there's this candle that um, Spirit Angel gave us, a, for the funeral and that candle is at my dad's house along with this like picture frame heart with the butterfly light you know and that candle turns off automatically is what we found out but it doesn't turn on unless you pick it up and click click off and then back on it has a timer it don't it doesn't turn on that way so yesterday when my dad went and picked up my mom's remains he took her around.
took uh, her remains around on a route that they would do together. He went to a tree and left peanuts for squirrels. And he went around and sat by a lake they, sit, they used to sit by and look out over it. And when he got home, that candle was on. And then this morning, as I was pulling out for work in the morning, he ran over, no shoes on or anything. I was like, what's this guy doing? He said, hey. I was clearing out some of the flowers that are dying around your mom's bed and everything like that. And he's talking to my mom and he said, I have to clear these flowers out because they're all dying. And so he's clearing them out and he got, went and put them in the backyard and got rid of them and you know, took, the, took them out of the vase and stuff like that. And when he came back inside, that candle was on again. If you look closely, those that we have lost will talk to you in their own way. You want to come up here with me, girl? Come here. Okay, girl, where are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to chase you. I'm going to chase you. There we go. And put that on. Don't tinkle yet. Are you tinkling? Oh, you're not tinkling yet. Okay, don't tinkle yet. Okay. Don't tinkle just yet. Let me get a towel to pick you up. Here we go. Come here. Let's get this over here. Okay, I'm going to pick you up. Okay, ready to go up, 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 up. Don't tinkle yet. There we go. Good girl. Don't tinkle. Don't tinkle yet. Okay. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Everyone say, good girl. She's a little pancake. Can I get this down that low? All right, here we go. I'm going to lift your head up just a little bit here. There we go. Okay, you want to go down lower. All righty. I'm going to let you be a pancake for a minute. Everyone let her be a pancake for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Them typos are a little bit funny. Vigorous. Vigorous and funny at the same time. Who cares? Everyone typos. Man, I, I'll post something. I posted something last night. I had a typo in it. I couldn't even go back and fix it. This autocorrect thing has started to drive me nuts. Anybody else? I can autocorrect my language. I know how, how to speak. I don't know. I know how to type. I don't know what does this autocorrect thing. <sighs> Some of that autocorrect looks ridiculous. I'm like, hey, sorry, that's autocorrect. Or even voice to text. Are you guys doing that? Voice to text. If you don't know how to do it, Google it. It eliminates you from having to write on the screen at all if you do voice to text. But sometimes it's going to sound like a mess as well. No joke. I'll have to do this. Hey, sorry, it's voice to text. I don't know what it's talking about right now. And it, sometimes it just sounds like a big nightmare. Like, what the heck? I get mad at, at my phone because I'm like, you should know me. You hang out with me 24 hours a day, and you got these AIs recording everything I do, and you still don't know how I talk? You don't really know? Even when I spell my, say my name, Dee Dee. Thanks a lot, Dee Dee. It'll spell my name wrong. How does it do that? This is my phone. Them AIs need, to, need more work. They're recording everything, but they get it wrong still? Come on, man. The only AI you have on my phone is me. What's wrong with you? Silly phone. Wants to do its own thing, have a mind of its own. You know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. Your phone starts calling you Debbie and your name's Dee Dee. It's ridiculous. That phone hangs out with you all day. When did you turn into Debbie versus Dee Dee? That phone should know better, shouldn't it? Okay. All right, well, we better get into it. Let's get this brush out. I'm overwhelmed with death, though. I can tell you that right now. The loss of my mom has really, like, hit me hard. How about you guys? Have you guys lost your mom or your dad? Brother or sister, son or daughter? It's a lot. Partner? Oh, we got poop down there, girl. We need to clean that up. 
Yes, ma'am. Definitely got to clean that up, girl. What is this on for? We're going to lock ourselves out of here. If she wanted to do the pancake, we'll let her do the pancake now. No big deal. But when we need to do the halfway here and under, then we'll get her to stand up. We'll use the dog up plus. She went for a walk outside and I can feel the temperature of the sun on her body since she's a black dog it's going to absorb more heat and so she's panting because of that okay let's get all that hair let's get this furminator and go over the back side Got a bit of static in the air. It's so dry here, you know. It's so dry, your, your skin's dry, your lips are dry, your legs are dry. It's dry, it's dry here. What is all this on your head? What you been up to? You've been partying way too hard without me. You've been partying way too hard, Miss Oreo. Look how flat she is like a pancake. Seriously, she's not moving at all. You're just going to stay there just like that for me? Okay. Okay, we need to get stood up now a little bit here. Get this plus. We might use two pluses. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think we've used two before. Dog up plus. Here we go. Stand up. Here we go. We'll do flat. Go underneath. There we go. That's perfect. We'll get your butt cleaned up first. Oh, yeah. You got to clean that butt up. Everyone say code word clean it up. <laughs> code word clean it up. Woo wee. Girl, what you been doing back here, man? Makes me want to go shorter and shorter and shorter. Get all that area out there. See all that right there? All that poop, dried up poop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. There's more where that came from here. Look at all that. Look at all that poop right there. I ain't even joking with you. Can I go up here? Up. Up. Good. Good girl.
Okay. Just come down your pump tummy here. And go up. There you go. Steady there. Good girl. Come on here like that. Very good girl. Let's go with the one guard here. Kind of do a little roundness here. Whoop, like that. Whoop, whoop. Okay, let's take our tin blade. Okay, a little something, something back under here. Okay. Let's take our two guard and come up to the front. Do the front legs a little bit here. We gotta do the we gotta move the plus to do under her tummy, side to side. But the tummy itself is already done, so that's great. All right. Let's get our 40 blade now. You guys reading my mind a little bit or no? You guys keep up? Here we go, 40 blade on the pads. Nails are low, so that's good to kind of notice it now. We're here already, so great. Do you mind if I see your front paw here? Thank you. Oh, don't get upset. I see you're licking your lip. Don't get upset, please. Well, up, up, there we go, up, up. Licking lips, there's a good warning sign there. Yeah, you're right. I think my energy's low. I just feel, I think I feel broken hearted. You know, I just feel broken hearted. Like you can't even wrap your mind around it. I can't wrap my mind around it. It's almost like a dream. And it just keeps like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I want to say it keeps on, but it's heavy. It's a lot. Can you get mad at anybody? Who do you, would you get mad at for losing so many people around you at one time? Can I get mad at anybody for it? Or is it just life? 
Who would you get mad at? If you could get mad at somebody, would we get mad at ourselves for not living our best life or living with regret? Can't do that, can you? It's not really healthy for us, is it? We get mad at God? Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't think he would like that. Who would you get mad at if you could get mad at for losing people you love? Comment below. We got a bunch of stuff going on in here. Let's cut through this right here. Careful what you're cutting. If you don't know what you're doing, be careful or don't do it at all. Get your clippers out. Oh yeah, we got lots of stuff going on back here. I'm gonna slice through those, but also have to come demat that. Okay, so let's just kind of make our way around this way and do some other stuff and we'll come back to the high knee. I can't be the only one that has gotten upset, disappointed in losing people I love. Y'all have got to have gone through it too. I mean, who did you want to get mad at? Who could you get mad at? Get mad at the whole just definition of the process of life. You gonna go pancake on me right now? Hmm. I don't really think you're even in that on top of that plus anymore. Hmm. Don't get upset. Hold on. Remember, this is a rough end, so we don't have to be too picky. It's going to change after we get all the dirt off the coat. And bathe it, clean it. I'm just getting this stuff off just because we don't want to dry stuff we have to take off anyway, do you? You don't want to dry stuff you got to take off, do you? That's a waste of drying. You can, but I don't want to. Many people bathe a dog before they groom. Many, many people do that. And they can do whatever they want, right? If that's how you want to do it, who's to stop you? Correct? We have to go up. Now we'll put the plus back up. And let's go like this. Wait just a moment, please. No jerky jerk. Who have you lost that has been a great loss to you? A great, great loss. Can you tell me who that was in your life? Who is a great loss to you in your life so far? And saying goodbye to different people is a different feeling. There's different feelings that come across with different people in your life. The loss is a loss, but it's all different. It feels different with the difference of who they were to you.
Matter of fact, are you going through a loss right now as well? If so, who is it? Sometimes a loss isn't even of one that you have, or is death. Sometimes it's not death at all. It's just a change. Maybe that's why some people don't like change. It's because you're saying goodbye to one way and introducing a new whole way. How about that? And that could be a goodbye in itself, can't it? Okay. All right. Let me take a look at your toenails here. Don't get upset. <laughs> Don't get upset. I'm just looking first. Okay, let me see here. Everything looks pretty good except for your dew claw. Okay, let me see. Don't get upset. You've never gotten upset, but that whole licking the lip thing does make me keep my eyes wide open. Let me see over here. That dew claw is down. Matter of fact, I wonder if your nails have been done already, okay? I see like a, just a tint to them. Okay. Okay, we need to demat the boom boom, right? We talked about that. Got some tangles back here. See how bad they are. Getting my D-mat breaker. This and a comb. Has this been in your way the whole time? My bad. You don't like it, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's always my fault, but I didn't do it. Right? I didn't do it. I'm removing it, but I didn't put it there. Sure is quiet, isn't it? Quiet is peaceful. Sometimes it's quiet and we don't recognize that we should enjoy the peace and sometimes it's loud and we don't recognize we should enjoy the loud. I remember when David passed away I would position myself in places where it was loud. Remember that laundry, that laundry place? And I just had to remind myself that it's loud and the kids are running around screaming and all that, but guess what? I'm alive. And I've never thought about enjoying someone's children run around yelling and screaming as much as I did in that moment. Even though I didn't know them at all. Their playful cheer and being yelled at by their parents or not yelled at, running around the entire laundromat for some reason, made me feel like life was here and I was alive in it. Rather than annoyed because I could not think to myself. Sometimes you have to understand what's going on around you and take a step back to understand it completely. We get so busy in our lives, in our world, sometimes we just don't understand 
how to find peace and when to find no peace. All right. Let's go into looking at, remember, hold on here. What does she normally do? She anticipates my moves, right? We're going to need that for the tub. Once I take off the groom loop, I feel like she anticipates the end already quickly. So let's not take off the groom loop today quickly. Let's act like we're still doing other things. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Voila. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She wants to jump. Did you see it? She's ready to fly off the table. Let's make sure we got a nice hold of her here. What? There we go. Cannot fly off the table today. No fly today. Gotta love Joshy. Speaking of Joshy, I have to admit, it's been really easy to have a blast around him and laugh a lot. Maybe we can talk about it right now a little bit. I'm not sure it's gonna be as funny to you as it is to me, but I'll tell you what, I've never seen somebody walk some dogs in and out of your house and come back in looking like a muddy mess. I helped him wash his jacket. Are you watching, Josh? Are you watching my live? I washed his jacket the day before yesterday, and within 24 hours, he was muddy again. I started thinking, like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Just, just say no. No to the dogs. Just say no. Don't jump on me. Okay. It's almost as if when I turn around, something new has happened behind my back. And I can't help but laugh. So I find myself walking around laughing at him a lot. And hopefully, he's not offended. <laughs> People don't know what it takes to care for dogs, let alone 15 of them. You think it's easy peasy, it is not. Everybody who talks to me about coming to help me always says that it's gonna be easy. No, it's not easy. And you might think you can play on your phone, the second you look at your phone, the dog has chewed on something that you can't replace. Like a wire. You can't play on your phone and play with dogs. Don't be doing that on my time or anybody else's time. I'm not talking about Joshy, I'm talking about this other gentleman who helped me for a while. You can't play on the phone and play with dogs. Not 10 of them, not seven, not 15, none. Just don't do it at all. If you look down on your phone 
once. That dog is going to eat a rock and it's going to get stuck in that dog's stomach. You won't know until someone like me is yelling at you, he's eating a rock! <laughs> that means protocol is shove your hand down their throat and pull the rock out. I've never seen a grown <laughs> I've never seen a grown man look at me the way Josh looked at me when I shovel my hand down a dog's throat and pull out a piece of a clothing or a piece of a freaking towel. And I don't understand why they don't also understand why I have to do that. If you've had to do that with your dogs or dogs that you've rescued or cared for, please raise your hand now. Surely I'm not the only one that has gone through this kind of thing. You cannot sit back and expect that dog to understand he's not supposed to eat a rock. All he knows is it's fun and games and he's having fun eating this rock. You do know that most rocks do not pass the bowel, right? <laughs> See, he's texting me now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dee Dee, why are you giving them all my secrets? So there was one day, don't tell Josh I told you this, but there was one day, and by the way, my sister said, you need to spend 15 minutes prior to every groom making us laugh. I said, okay, well, here's, here's your 15 minutes, you guys. There was one day, one of the first days, I'm trying to work this warm water thing. It was hot, and now it's going back to um, righty, lefty, le righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Left being on. Okay. There was one day, it was early in the beginning of him helping me, right? Are you guys, can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Is that Josh writing right now? Don't tell him I'm telling you all our secrets. There was one day, we've been moving stuff out of the salon and we were about to leave the house. Good girl. And I noticed off on the corner that his laptop was still plugged in, wide open, keyboard in touching distance to Angel's paws and mouth. The laptop was plugged in, powered. Woo, I'm getting all wet over here. So I ran into the back where I had this cord that was chewed up already. <laughs> From another incident, when the dogs chewed up a subwoofer cord, power cord, and I ran outside to Josh. <laughs> is that him running me? I ran outside to Josh, who was in the vehicle, and I said, they chewed your work laptop cord. <laughs> Can you imagine the ex- the explanation on his face? Oh, Lord Jesus. He rolled down the window and looked at that cord and, and jumped out of that truck so fast. And I started laughing my brain off. I mean, I laughed my brain off. And I was laughing. And he said, you know what? I'm just going to go check to make sure you're joking. He ran inside to check his laptop. Oh, Lord Jesus. Do not leave anything plugged in with pups around. I don't care if a one-year-old pup or five-month-old or four-month-old or three-month-old. I do not recommend you to have that dog not kenneled. They just have to eat the cord to get sick and go to the veterinarian. You might find your dog dead when you get home. But little did I know that these little games I was playing with myself and Josh would have me laughing instead of crying most days. And later, when I have no one else to laugh at, it's going to be really hard. <laughs> Anyhow, Josh has been a, a great friend at this time, and I really appreciate it. So thank you, Josh, for showing up. Hold on, baby girl. Hold on. We're almost done rinsing. We're almost done. Ooh. Can you flip your body this way? Okay, can you come over here then? Okay, all right. 
Oops, sorry, lift your arm. You want to make sure you get all the soap off the body. You should spend double the amount of time washing the body than you did applying shampoo. Double the time. Okay, keep that in mind. Double the time. Okay. All right, we got that towel right there. And I'm going to kind of see if I can trick her this time because every time we go back to the table after this, she is hard to keep on the table. So I'm going to try to trick her. Okay. Let you drip dry. We're going to do your ears right now in the tub so you can shake some of that water off for me and help me out with that. Okay. I ran out there with this cord that had been chewed up. Josh's reaction was just priceless. He was like, oh my gosh. He was worried and panicking because that laptop computer is just a strange kind of older laptop. I don't know about older, but it's just a different kind of computer where the cord is different. It's not one you can just get, you know? Oh, his facial expression was to die for it. I was just laughing my buns off when I was like, well, I just wanted to let you know, you need to be careful where you put your laptop, you know, where, where you plug your laptop in. And then I don't know why anybody would have their laptop you know, plugged in right next to a bunch of dogs and then walk away thinking everything would be okay when you get home. <laughs> oh gosh, I man, I've done some crazy stuff to make myself laugh since I've had help. It's been the only way I think I could survive all this stuff. Okay, so I want to take you out, but then I don't. I want to blow dry you possibly right here in the tub and trick you because every time I take you out, it's hard to keep you on the table. You're so excited to leave, okay? So we're going to try this blow drying you right here in the tub, right? And maybe we can go straight from here to the floor, okay? We're going to try it. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to trick you this time because you always get me really close to you being on the edge of the table the whole time when I bring you back over here. <sighs> mm -hmm. Right. We're going to blow dry. If you don't like this part of it, you can push mute or lower your volume. It will sound loud. And get your glasses on. Let's protect your eyeballs. You know, I met a lady the other day, and she says they don't let us wear glasses eye care where she works, blow-drying dogs. And I thought, are you kidding me? Why is it we're not teaching safety in the stuff that we do as pet groomers? We need to be safety first.
We blow that whole sign down. Woo! Got hot in here real quick, didn't it? All right, let me get this situation over here. I say that, but I'm probably going to have to keep that on there. Let's see what happens with this. I'm seeing you, Senior Fly Girl. Those of you all also commenting. Beautiful stories. You can tell me your stories in the live chat or in the comments below. Let's go up here. Now that she's kind of standing up, that's great, right? Now she's kind of standing up finally. That's awesome. We got her on a regular loop. We'll do some leave-in conditioner and get do a final brush out. See this? She's ready to go at this point. Okay, let's come back here and just brush this out. Okay, thank you for shaking all that off. Come down here, start at your lowest point and work up. Coat's nice and clean now. Let's go that way with it. Careful with that one, sure if that what that was when she came back. Never put your guard down 100 percent. She got a little like wiggle her tail like a rabbit, huh? She shake everything off. You gonna shake again? Yeah, I don't want, all right, all right. Go ahead, you wanna shake one more time? Go ahead. Good girl, good girl. We're almost done, we're almost done. I could take these off so I can see better, that's true. Don't get upset, see, I told you. Did you see that? I knew she was a little something, something over there. You hear that little growl, right? You better be careful. Maybe she didn't like something. She's ready to go. I'd like to tell you what to do a little bit. She's trying to say I'm done. Okay. No, no, no bite me. No biting the brush either. Okay, no biting the brush. No, don't do that. No, ma'am. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Look forward. Don't worry about me. Look forward. go from 50 to 70 degrees in one day that makes no sense I don't want to say maybe even this morning it was like 35 40 it could have been even lower than that lower than 50 I mean makes no sense this Texas weather don't get mad at me like that don't tell me what to do okay Let's 
see what this is here. Okay, that's part of that groom loop sticking under there. That's fine. We do need her to stand up, so let's get the plus back involved. You can get the plus at dogupstand.com. If you want to be sure you've got the right thing, please measure underneath the tummy to the floor or the groom table. Now you make sure that you need to make sure that the plus or mini fits or even the small. Unless you're a groomer and you're ordering multiple ones, then of course it'll work on some dogs no matter what. You have them in, you know, in ha on hand. Don't move, this is a serious area back here. A friend of mine, we were talking the last year, early last year actually, and she's like me, she has a lot going on, but she started breeding corgis, you know, and when I went to her facility, her house, I think at one time she had like 20 something pups outside in their corgi barn, plus whatever dogs she had inside her house, and I thought to myself like, good Lord Jesus which I've been saying that a lot lately. Good Lord Jesus. And she recently went and got some more. She flew somewhere and got some different kind of corgi. A different, um, I don't know, just a different, different, different look. And it's a new addition. So she'll start breeding them now, you know? And I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I've had enough. I spent a lot of time caring for dogs. <laughs> and I can't imagine it. You, there's no time to breathe. I don't understand. If she wasn't married, I, she probably couldn't even do it because her husband helps her with everything. You know? When I talk to her, it's not like I, I don't ever hear that she has staff or anything like that. It's just her and her husband. Dog care... Multitudes of dogs care is so hard to do at once, especially if you happen to, well, I did it a little differently, but especially if you happen to be like wanting them to not just be running around and going to an owner, like you spend time training them, you know, teaching them stuff. So they go into a home knowing something, like all the dogs that I have can walk on a treadmill, that's super cool. They have their tricks, certain things that they do, you know. But just care in general without that kind of stuff is a lot. It's so hard. So if you have someone of shelter around you, you know, or a rescue group that's picking up dogs but they're full, just know that's probably one or two people doing all that care. If you check around, look at look who's near you and say, Hey, can I come walk some dogs for you? I know because Dee Dee told me you guys are probably you know, overwhelmed. Some of the biggest rescue groups out here, because the other day, within the last week, my family members helped me write, this is just in the last week. In the last week, my family members helped me write 300 rescue groups, okay? And not one of them can take one of my dogs. Not one can take one. Not yet. 
I've had some favors finally pulled in, just posting them somewhere for me. But no one has taken a dog of mine except for a business took Tiger. Liquid Silk, get that at myfavoritegroomer.com. You don't need very much. D a dime size. Rub it in their hair like gel, and it's going to be silky smooth upon drying, which just adds silkiness to the stuff leave-in conditioner that I have and spray while I'm brushing. But this is a little bit some oil, right? It's a little bit oily, but not too oily. Don't get me wrong. If it's too oily, I can't do that. It's just got this liquid silk feel. See, like it's already off my fingers, right? It's not oily. It's not like olive oil, which I've used olive oil on myself, by the way. But hey, I'm just saying, in your community, check it out. Call them, write them, go out, see if you can help out. See if you can get out there and maybe donate some time, okay? Because I can't help your community. You have to help them. You're, that's where you're local to. Girlfriend, we're, we're coming down. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on, I know you're excited. Hold on. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll come up in just a second. I'll be right back. Let me go cash out the mama. And let me get this simple lead and her groom loop cover. The groom loop covers can be found at myfavoritegroomer.com as well. Especially on dogs that hang their head a lot. Man, it really, they don't choke out the whole groom, which is awesome in my opinion. Awesome blossom. Okay, this one. Okay. Let's see here. She is definitely excited. Mm -hmm. Here you go. You ready? Come on, let's go. Well, I have to open the door. I do have to open the door.
Okay, let's catch up with you guys and just say good day. And uh, we'll see you in a little while. Uh, tomorrow, maybe. All right, I'm kind of going to reverse a little bit. Look over here, see what y'all... Okay. Flib, gib, flim, flam. Hello. <laughs> Flib, hello. Sally, hello. Okay. Adventures with Robin C. I need to get that to you today. So as soon as I get off the phone, I'm going to text you some pictures of 3XL or something like that clothing. Would love to see you do a Bichon. Also looking for a new Nishon. Bichon to add to my family. Uh, I would go my favorite groomer, Bichon, and then look at the past. Um, is what I would type in the chat. It was perfect timing, MP. Soothing to watch. Thank you. Yasi, gotta love Joshi. Change is always hard. Nope, done it many times. AAK says, Mom has, visit, has, Mom has visited me in her spirit while driving. Senior Fly Girl says, But I can't hug him or touch him or have so many laughs with him. But my comfort is knowing I will see him again and laugh. Do I get angry? Yes, at the situation. Then stop to think how blessed I was. It's definitely, it's definitely hard. It's definitely tough. Thank you for sharing. Be sure that you hit that like button for me. And check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. And I do have a lot to talk about. About a lot of stuff. The only thing I have to say about those things right now is that you should try your hardest. Hmm. Practice what you preach. Do unto others as you want done unto yourself. Sometimes I want to believe that if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. But when you're teaching and when you're showing people things, you have to bring up and give examples. And when you do, you may have to talk about someone to show an example of maybe what not to do. As we live through the lives today, including many, 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 many hard times for lots of people, so hard that it seems like there's a death that's not needed to have happened every day now across the nation, maybe across the planet. Lead by example. Expect of what of others as you expect of yourself. And if you want to live in the dark and carry on in the dark, then you will likely stay in the dark. And no one can lift you up unless you decide to stop living in the dark. Thank you so much, and I know you love my new hairdo because it's called hat hair. But thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the laugh while you can. And find laughter even in the hardest of times, as it may be your way out. Surround your people with people you like to be around and that lift you up. And maybe it, those people also that you want to be like. If someone is talking badly about you, being cruel to you, being unkind to you, including a family member, please put up a boundary. Put up a fence that protects you. Put up a fence that protects you. Don't stay where you're unwanted. Don't stay where you are being treated like crap. Don't stay where you're being abused or in toxicity. Now, you don't have to cut anybody off if you don't want to, but a boundary is a fence and you could put a door in that fence. That allows them to stay on their side of the fence and allows you to stay on your side of the fence and you can go through back and forth. You can always ask someone to leave your property when you feel uncomfortable. Take care of yourself, my friends. Love is in the air. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. You can love anyone you'd like. Thanks for being part of my world. I couldn't do it without you. We'll see you on the next live. Good night. I'm so sorry, Grandma Shell. 
so sorry when your mom died. 